how to add actors in a sub-level with C++ in Unreal. Because even though it's pretty awesome to be able to spawn actors in the world directly by code, it's even better when you're able to decide in which level you want to spawn that actor. So let's get to it. So as usual, I'm in a pretty empty header file, except the code that we're going to do today. Today we need two functions, so that's why it looks a little bit packed with a lot of stuff, but it's not that much. It's just two little functions, and we're going to look at them in a second. But first, let's take a look at the forward declaration, because today we're going to need the U level and also the U world in this header file. So to be able to use those classes, we have to forward declare them at the top, and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit to show you the function. So we have two functions today. We have the first function, which is the get sub level from world. That function is going to check inside the world that you have, uh, the world that you have opened in the editor or any other world asset that you want. This function is going to take all the levels that are inside the world and it's going to try to find the levels that you want. So here I'm just going to provide the world in which I want to search for the level that I'm looking for. So this is the world that contains the level. And then we have a sub level name, which is a string. It's going to be the name of the level I'm looking for. So if I have five levels in my world, I have level one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to look for, let's say, level two or level three or level four. So you'll be able to decide which level you want to use to spawn your actor. So this function here is going to look at all the levels that are inside the world. Based on the name, it's going to return you the level that you want. So if it finds a level in there, it's going to give it to you. And then that function is going to be used inside the spawn actor in sub level function that you have just right here. This function is just going to take the class of the actor that you want to spawn. So do you want to spawn a static mesh actor, a skeleton of mesh actor, point light actor, or any other type of actors that you want to spawn in the world? So you're feeding it the actor class that you want to spawn, and you're also feeding it the level name in which you want to spawn the actor. And that function is just going to find the level that you want to use using the first function, and then spawn the actor that you want inside that level as simple as that and as output it's obviously going to return you the actor that was just spawned in the world so yeah that's it for the header file now it's time to jump in the cpp and here as usual we're going to start with the includes and we need three of them today we need first the world in which we want to spawn the actor obviously that just makes sense and then we also need the level in which we want to spawn the actor because we want to retrieve the level from the world and to do that well we need to include the levels also the last one right here is the editor engine and that one is just because i'm going to use the world that is currently open in the editor to set my world variable. So to decide in which world I want to spawn my actor, I'm going to use the one that is currently open in the editor. It's just going to make things simpler for today's video. But in your case, you can use any worlds that you want. But since I want to use the world that is currently open in the editor, I need to include the editor engine, which is inside the module Unreal ED. So I'm going to make sure that this module is already inside my build.cs file. And here it is. So I don't have to add anything new in there. Perfect. Now it's time to jump back in the CPP and we can start with the first function that we have right here. So get sublevel from world, this function is simply going to return you the level in which you want to spawn the actor. But this function, as I said, is simply going to look into that world right here, and it's going to try to find the sub-level matching the name that you're also feeding it as input. But to be able to do that, the first step is to make sure that the world that you receive as input is valid, otherwise Unreal is going to crash. So here I'm just going to make sure that my world is not equal to null, because if it's equal to null, I'm not going to be able to find a level inside that world because the world doesn't exist. So obviously I'm just going to return fault right here because I was not able to find a sublevel from that world because obviously the world doesn't exist. So okay, now we have a check to make sure that the world is valid and now the second step is to simply find the level that we want. It's super simple to say but it's a little bit more complicated than that because there's no function that is already done for you to be able to retrieve the level that you want in the world. So we're gonna have to do it ourselves and that's what we're gonna do. So here I'm just going to create myself a new local variable right here to receive the level that I'm going to return at the end. So this is the level I'm going to return at the end for now it's going to be null and what we're going to do is loop through all the levels that are currently inside that world that you receive as input looping through all the levels all of them are potential levels because any of them can be the level that you want to return at the end but actually not any of them just the one that matches the name that you receive as input so here i have my sub level name the get author right here is going to return you the world asset of that level so that's the name you're interested in you're getting the outer right here you're getting the name of that outer which is going to give you the the name of the level and then you can compare it with the level name that you receive as input and if they are the same well you can just simply set the sub level variable right here using the potential level and that's it you can break out of the loop because you found the level that you're interested in so good now you're looping through all the levels you're trying to find the one that matches the name and that's it it's going to set to that variable right here so here i'm just going to return the result at the end but first i'm going to add a little bit more warnings in the case that the sub level is not valid so if i look through all the levels and i didn't find 
final level that matches the name I receive as input, I'm just going to return false. I, I was not able to find a level with that name in the world. So here I'm just going to add a little bit more information about it and return null pointer as a level. Otherwise, if the sub level is not equal to null, I can simply return it at the end right here. Return that it was a success that I was able to find a level using that name in the world and return the level, obviously. So good. That's it for the first function. You're probably going to use that function a few places in your code because it's a pretty useful function that is not already in the engine, sadly. So good. Now we know how to get a sublevel from a well. Now we just have to use that sublevel to spawn the actor. And so I'm going to go all the way at the bottom right here. And then we're going to focus on the spawn actor in sublevel. And actually, to be able to spawn an actor in the world, we have to make sure that the actor class we're trying to spawn is valid. So that's what I'm going to do right here. If my actor class is not valid, I'm just going to return false right away because I'm not going to be able to spawn that actor in a level because, well, the actor is just not valid. So right here, I'm just going to return null. I was not able to spawn an actor in that level. So, okay, the first check is done. Now we just have to find the world and the sublevel in which you want to spawn the actor. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So for my world, as I said, I'm going to use the world that is currently open in the editor. So here in the G editor, I'm going to get the editor world context and the world that is inside that context. That's going to give me the world I want to use to spawn my actor. And then I can use my first function. So the get sublevel from world using the world to find the level in which I want to spawn my actor. So the sublevel name that I receive as input right here. And then this function is going to return me the level that matches that name if there was one. If there was none, well, I can just simply return right here because I'm not going to be able to spawn the actor inside that level because, well, the level is not in the world. So yeah, we have to make sure that the sublevel is valid before trying to spawn the actor in the sublevel. So good. Now we have a valid world, a valid sublevel, and now it's just time to spawn the actor in the world. And that's as simple as that. It's the same function as the previous video, and it's the same function that you're using in your game. You're just simply spawning an actor in your world, as simple as that, fitting it, the actor class, obviously. But then to be able to decide in which level you want to spawn that actor, you have to use the spawn actor parameters right here. That structure is going to let you change a bunch of the different settings that are going to affect the spawning of the actor. But in my case, I just want to change the level in which the actor is going to spawn. So I'm just going to change the override level variable right here using the sub level that I found inside my world. So I found a level in my world using the name I receive as input, and then I'm using that level to spawn my actor in. So override the persistent level using the sub level, and then that's going to affect the spawning of my actor right here. And as output, it's going to return me the actor that was just spawned inside my level. And that's as simple as that. Actually, I can just say that it was a success. I was able to spawn an actor in my level. I can return my actor at the end. Perfect. Now it's time to jump in Unreal to test all that. So here we are in Unreal and I created myself a new world that I have right here. It's the one that is currently open. And I also created myself three other worlds that are going to be levels inside my first world. So I have my world right here and I have three sub levels that I added inside my levels list right here on the left. So my sub level one, two and three, we're going to spawn actors inside those three levels and see if it works. So good. We have the levels that are set up properly and we also have a user interface to be able to decide the name of the level in which we want to spawn the actor. So here I'm going to type the name I want to use and then I'm going to click the spawn actor button which is going to simply call the spawn actor in sublevel function that we just created for the actor class. I'm actually going to reuse a blueprint that I created in my video 12 of the series but it doesn't really matter because it's a simple cube. So it's a simple blueprint actor with a cube in it. So it's just so we have a little bit of visual. And for the sublevel name, obviously, I'm going to use the level name that I wrote in the user interface. That's why it's there. Good. So we're going to spawn an actor in the sublevel. Let's see if it works. I'm going to run my editor utility widget right here. And I'm going to click on the spawn actor button. Here we go. I spawn the cube in my world. Actually, it's not in the world. It's in the sublevel one that we have right here. I don't know if you see the little star right here. It shows that the level was modified. And if I hide my level, it should also hide the cube because the cube is inside that level. It's not inside the persistent level. If I hide the persistent level, we can see that the cube is still there. So the cube is really inside the other level that you have right here, the sublevel one. And you can add as many cubes as you want inside that sublevel. And then if you hide the sublevel, obviously it hides all the cubes that are in there. But you can also add cubes inside other levels. So let's say I'm going to add it inside the level two. So here we go. I now have a cube. I have a few cubes inside my level two. You can see the little star on the right. And if I hide my level, it's going to hide those cubes. So I can show the, all the cubes that are inside the first level 
level and also all the cubes that are inside the second level. You can see that they are really separated in their own level. Perfect. And same thing for the level tree, obviously. So if I write the level tree, I can spawn actors in my level tree. So if I hide my first level, that third level right here is going to have a few cubes in there. If you try to add the cubes inside the world that doesn't exist, so let's say this name right here, which doesn't make sense, it's not a valid level, so I'm not going to be able to spawn a cube inside that level because, well, it doesn't exist. But as long as your level name works, uh, even if the level is hidden, so I can add cubes inside my level one if I want to, even though it's hidden, when I'm going to change its visibility back to visible, all the cubes are going to be there. You don't really see it because I have a bunch of cubes right now, but you can spawn actors inside the level that is currently hidden. Perfect. So yeah, now you know how to spawn actors in different levels. So I guess that's going to be it for today's video and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.